Hi, I'm Colin, a product expert at Lucid. Today, you're going to master the basics of Lucidchart in under five minutes. By the time we're done, you'll have the skills necessary to both create and share your own diagrams. Let's get started. First, go to lucidchart.com and sign up for a free account or log in if you already have one. Signing in takes you to your homepage. Here you can view and organize documents, create and manage folders, and import files from other applications like Visio and Omnigraphle. If the idea of starting from scratch makes you nervous, we also offer a variety of templates to choose from. But for now, let's jump in and create a blank document here. Great, now that we're in our workspace, let's take a look at a real life example. Imagine that our employer has asked us to create a flowchart to help visualize our team's hiring process. After some discussion, we discovered that our first steps look something like this. Perfect. Now that we've identified a few steps in the process, let's bring them to life in Lucidchart. If you've ever worked in Microsoft Word or Google Docs, Lucidchart should feel familiar to you. Let's get started by naming our document here. Because we're visualizing a process, we'll want to navigate to the flowchart section in the Shapes menu. Click and drag the process shape to your canvas. Double click on it to edit the text. Use any of the blue squares around it to adjust its size. To create a line, hover over the process shape and drag the red node away from it. When you let go, you'll see the flowchart shape menu. Because our next step involves the decision, let's select the decision diamond. Double click and add the text criteria met. Create a new line from the diamond and add another process shape. Label this one, arrange first interview. You'll notice that the line says yes. If we create another line from our decision diamond, it will show no. That's exactly what we want to have happen. So let's create a line and add our last process shape to the diagram. Finish up by typing send rejection email. All right, our diagram looks pretty good. Now we could share it like this and it'd get the job done, but I think it could use some style. The intentional use of color and other design principles elevates your diagram and strengthens its impact. So let's level up what we've got. The formatting bar has a lot of options when it comes to stylizing text and shapes, but today we're going to keep things simple. Our employer has only asked that we use company fonts and colors when creating our diagram. Let's get started by stylizing our text. To do this, click on the process shape that has the information you want to edit. Navigate to the formatting bar and select the text style you want to use. Edit the color of the process shape by clicking here. These are just two simple ways to elevate your diagram quickly. With the variety of other styling options Lucidchart provides, you can make sure that your diagram always conveys its message effectively. Cool. I think we're in a good place to ask our colleagues for some feedback. Let me show you how you can invite others to your document. Click on the share button and then select link. Turn the toggle on, select who has access to the document, what their permissions are, and add any additional security requirements. Click copy link when you're ready to share and paste your invitations wherever you need. You're now ready to create, customize, and share a basic document in Lucidchart. If you want to learn more or need some additional help, be sure to watch our videos and check out our other resources here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.